our society is at a certain crossroads. And what we've really got to do is make some decisions. Not all single-use plastics should be banned. Not all single-use plastics are needed. What we've really got to do is create a balance. You see, we tend to live in a world that's a giant pendulum. It's like, let's make everything out of plastic. Or let's not make anything at all out of plastic. Let's throw it all away. Let's not throw any of it away. Well, the truth is, life is more of a balance. Practically speaking, there's so many single-use plastics, it's impractical to ban them. We take for granted a certain cost of food, and that cost of food and quality of food is significantly driven by the ability to package it in a way that preserves it properly. Because what would you think would happen to the total world food supply if instead of things lasting for, say, a few weeks or a month for shipping, if they'd only last a few days because you didn't have plastic containers? What do you think would happen to the amount of food available to everybody? It would be minimal. And what do you think reducing the amount of food would do? Kill a lot of people. Possibly. Sadly. It's a bit extreme. But for sure, what would happen if there's less available? What happens to prices when things are shortages? It'll go higher. There are some and products that we can again. probably replace. There are other products, a lot of medical products, where it doesn't make sense for us to try and take away all the advances we've made by the advanced materials plastics are and what they can give us as a benefit. So I think what it comes down to is we've really got to pick our battles. By looking at plastic as a resource, we've already created billions of pounds of plastic. Let's take that investment that we've already made in making that material and let's reuse it. So what we've really got is like a big reserve account where we can take all of this old waste plastic that we've made over the last decades and turn it into new goods that we need. And when they wear out, we'll recycle it again. And because we've developed a system that uses about a tenth as much energy to recycle plastic as it does to make new plastic, it just makes sense to draw on that. We've been able to demonstrate in a lot of our testing that we've been able to recycle PVC, HDPE, 10 to 20 times without them degrading. Make an old item that's broken into a new item that's got a life of 10 or 20 years, and then when it breaks, we can use it again. So if we start treating plastic as a reusable resource, there's no reason we should ban it or eliminate it, but we could dramatically reduce how much of it we make. And by doing so, we can protect our forests, we can protect our resources in terms of bamboo and everything else because those are some of the ways that carbon gets naturally stored in our world. So rather than making things out of biodegradable paper and creating that kind of a circular argument, another way to look at it is we should take plastic and use it again and again and again. If it's the wrong shape, make it into the right shape the next time. Old shampoo containers, old detergents, drink containers, conditioner, all kinds of post-consumer plastic waste is ground up into this granular product that we can then mold into plastic lumber, interlocking blocks, and many other useful products, thereby taking garbage and making things that are useful to our society and avoiding the contamination of our landfills, our oceans, and our rivers. You're actually building a walkway that is going to be water permeable. And so what we're doing is we're solving two problems at once. We're getting rid of plastic waste and we're recovering the valuable energy and resources that went into making that original plastic by making it into something that's useful again. We should also make a lot of plastic goods that are more durable. Instead of making thin plates, let's make them a little thicker, a little bit more rigid. Add some value to them and make sure they last 20 years. Get the real life out of plastic products that we can 
And then when we're done with them, let's make sure that they get recycled. That we take them in the local community, grind them up and make them into something we need again. That is a way of looking at plastics as a resource rather than a problem.